All right, so I wanted to to do a rant on the way to work about a word, but the camera mount sucked, and, you know, who the hell wants to stare at me? <laughs> you know what? I got to open up. I'm sure there's more shit to look at around the shop than there is my ugly face. Anyway, I want to talk about the most powerful word in the English language. The absolute one word that can ruin somebody's career, that can ruin somebody's life, that can cause mayhem. And I don't believe personally that any one word should have that much power. Um, one word. And I know people are going to guess stupid things like money, hate, love, um, none of the above. The most powerful word in the English language is the N-word. Now, we all know what that is. And it's so funny because I came into work this morning and one of my YouTubers called me up and called me the n-word and hung up the phone only to call me back later to ask for an oil change so I instantly knew I said and it, and it came up on the caller ID Frankie I said hey Frankie why did you call me the n-word so I said look don't hang up I want to I want to get past this I get calls all the time from people on YouTube People talking shit, people thanking me, people liking videos, people hating videos. The fact of the matter is I think anybody out there watching knows I don't give a shit how anybody feels. I really don't. It's nice. I do appreciate the positive stuff. But the negative stuff doesn't really bother me. I don't care about it. But anyway, so Frankie called me the N-word and it struck a chord because I actually made a video on the way to work talking about the N-word. And I saw how shitty the video came out. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to put that on YouTube. So anyway, the N-word is the one word that if used in the wrong place by the wrong person can be damning to that person. And I think it's pathetic that one word has that much power. And another thing, the main thing, the biggest problem with the N-word is what it does to a large group of people. It, it takes lower class citizens and, and enables them to group themselves with a higher class citizen, for lack of a better term. Fact is that that word is used by many, um, you know, when they're hanging out, just shooting the shit. I mean, you know, I grew up in a very racially mixed situation here and there, and I'm in a very racially mixed situation. So black people will call me the N-word, say, hey, you're my N. White people will say that to me. So I, I grew up in a different world with the N-word. It wasn't as politically correct. And there's been times I've had altercations with African-Americans who called me, and I don't like using African-Americans, so I'm gonna say black. African-American is not all black people. And it's insulting to somebody who is black who's not African-American. So I've been called the N-word by black people during arguments, which I think is classless and stupid. But regardless of that, that one word allows a lower level of person in, in all ways to band themselves together with the better class of person and then the cause of divide. See, it's a segregatorial word, if that's a word. It segregates. You know, it separates people, and it's sad. And, you know, when I was a kid, I grew up, and, and I, I, it was funny. I was called to the office because I would have fights with black guys quite often. My school migrated with a very mixed school, and a few years went by, and when I got into to, to, to grades, uh, to uh, middle school, actually, I would, you know, have altercations with black kids. But a lot of black kids were my friends. I hung out with black kids. So when I was called to the office, the principal was talking to me about him being worried I have a racist issue and one of my parents there and everything. And I said, 
I'm, how can I be racist when I sit at a lunch table with a bunch of black kids every day? So he called the lunch aide to verify that I sat with a bunch of black kids every day. And he said, well, why do you have fights with these black kids all the time? Why, why are you always fighting with them? I said, you know why? Because these black kids eyeball these white kids. And most of these white kids are a bunch of punks. And they look down at the ground and run the other way. I said, you know, if I get eyeballed, I got to stand up and, 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 and go headfirst into the altercation. I didn't say it like that, but, you know, I just didn't take shit from kids, whether they were white, black, or what have you. And in my mind, because I fought with black kids, I was less racist than anybody out there because I didn't deem a black person inferior, and I was not afraid of them. These other white kids who were afraid of the black kids were inferior. They were afraid because they were different, and then they thought different of them. To me, they were all the same. It didn't make a difference. And the black kids, they had that power over a lot of white kids, and they could just look at them, and they'd cower like bitches and walk the other way. Well, I wasn't that guy. So what I would do is I would go head first into it. And it's so funny because I never forget the day. It was like the first fight I had with a black kid. He, he, he eyeballed me, came out of a classroom to start jumping up and down as we got separated. So we said, meet at the flagpole, because we actually had a flagpole where we did meet at after, after class if there was a fight. So we met at the flagpole, and then what happened was I beat his ass. And it was the funniest thing, because he had all his friends, I had two of mine, and the kids were all mixed in color. The two kids that were with me were black, and one of them said to me, yo, you're my N, <laughs> right after the fight. And... I, I don't get this politically correct bullshit society, you know, and, and how corporate America uses this shit as a tool. And I'm watching. The fucking dogs go out again. Really? Pain in the ass. You know, you gotta admire the stupidity of an animal. Uh, and anybody who says that dogs are smart, they're not smart. They're just not. They're dogs. They have. Look at this mess. Look at this. Look at the building around me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is what they're doing. They're moving the projects from across the street behind me. And, and then they're doing something across the street. So fine, pay me and I'll go. I'll go away. I'll go on YouTube every day. I don't need the bullshit, but whatever. Pay me, bitches. So, no, inside. Get down inside, you bastard. Hate that. I got to get this place cleaned up. I love cleaning up after their mess. My, my property. All right, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm, I'm walking in circles and babbling. Reality is this. That N-word is the biggest bullshit tool of, of idiots, of scumbags. They use it as a tool and they work it as a tool. The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is that that word should be used up by infants and everybody alike. Teach the kids right from when they're born that word. Put it on billboards. Wash it up. Use it up so it means nothing. So it means absolutely nothing. That's what should be done. We should take that word and use it up so it has no meaning. And then at that juncture, when, when, when it's totally used up, then the political correct assholes of society could not use it as a tool to segregate people. And it's so funny how today's people who complain about racism are the biggest segregates there are. How many people who aren't racist do you see talking about segregating people? I mean, there's, there's Black Lives Matter and, and all this other crap. It's just kind of drawn a line between everybody. It's just ridiculous. All lives matter. We all know that. And all that bullshit about white privilege, well... I don't know, I'm on my own at 17. I started with shit, I never had shit. And speaking of shit, apparently the dog took a shit. But it is what it is. I worked my ass off and clawed my way through life to get where I am. I'm white, I guess, I don't know. Who knows? Who really knows what we all are? At the end of the day, that N-word, that shit's gotta go.